You're with head coach Jim Madigan after Northeastern's 10 to 2 win against Simon Frazier and uh, coach a lot of offense today. Uh, just talk about the game. Yeah, no, there wasn't a lot of offense, and you know we we caught this team on a, on the second night of a back to back. They had Province last night, and you know we we expected our offensive guys to get going here tonight, and uh, you know we were led early by, by you know Kevin and, and McMurtry and Hedges, and then I thought our other lines really got going. I thought Aston Reese was really good, and their line played heavy and low in the corners, and. Um, then, you know, the Stevens line, which didn't get on the scoreboard, but really created some momentum for our team offensively. And then the Cotton, you know, Griffin and Collier line, you know, kind of took over later in that third period and, and created a lot of offense for ourselves. And the Pond line, you know, gave us a lot of uh, hard work uh, along the wall. So, um, you know, overall happy with the offense. Uh, we've moved pucks. We're pretty good in transition. We're going to have to get better in our own zone defensively. And, you know, when we play uh, the competition that we're going to see beginning next Saturday against Colgan and back in our league, uh, we're not going to see, you know, we're not going to get 10 goals, obviously. Um, but we're going to have to play smarter and harder in those, you know, 3 2, uh, two 1, 4 3 type of games. So um, it was a barometer. Gives us an opportunity to, to go back to the, you know, to uh, the tape, watch the tape, and get better this week. You know, the restrictions are lifted now by us for the NCAA in terms of our preseason um, practice time so now we can spend more time with the kids and I think they're looking forward to it and we're looking forward to it. A lot of new faces out there today coach uh, many of whom had a factor in today's game uh, just talk about the freshmen and um, also the transfer students. Yeah you know our first year students who were there out there you know the freshmen and then you know You've got uh, you know, uh, Sam Kirker out there, who was a junior this year, having played you know a year and a half at BU, and I thought they all um, accommodated themselves very well out here tonight. You know, you, you can see the score sheet, and you see Cotton with three, and Griffin with one, and Gadet with one, and uh, and that, those are great things. So they score because you, you got to score obviously to win. But it's the way those kids played the game. They were strong along the walls. They they cycled pucks well for us. They 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 played gritty. They were heavy on pucks. I thought Sam Kirker was really good here today, and I don't know, maybe only had an assist out there, but he played really well there line was really good um, so I like the way the, all those first year kids played and I thought our you know as I said earlier uh, our older kids I thought led the way earlier in the game and then allowed our younger kids to settle into the game and once they settled in and got acclimated I thought uh, I thought they played well we want to play fast and and push the tempo and I thought we did that at that uh, for most of the game had a chance to see all three goalies in today's game uh, just talk about them starting with Derek yeah you know uh, you know Derek you know, all three I thought you know played well, and you know Derek. You know, it's hard for a goalie when you don't get a lot of shots early. And early in the game, he didn't get many shots, and you know you're ramped up and ready to play. And uh, but there was a couple of combinations there. He was uh, he was counted on to make a couple of good saves, which he did early in the game. And when the game's is early in the game with zero zero, we're only up one nothing. You need those saves. And Jake Toit again, you know, he had a mentally it's a challenge because you have to keep yourself in the game with not getting a lot of shots. And um, and that was the case for him. And I thought we played better in the second, even though we scored a goal. I thought we played well in the second period. And uh, you know he he forwarded himself really well. Then in the, in the third, and you know Ryan Rucko in the third, I thought played well. And unfortunately, gave up two goals. There was a, you know, uh, one was a, a turnover, and we didn't hold down the middle of the ice, and we got sloppy in, in our own zone. And the second goal went off. You know, it was a two on one and went off our defenseman stick in the net. Nothing he nothing could have done either goal. So, um, you know, I'm sure he's disappointed giving up two goals and not many shots, but uh, he played well. He had to face a five on three for a minute and 40 seconds out there. So, um, you know, I, I like the way they, they played and the, the way they um, approached the game. So, again, we've got to get better in our own zone and from a goaltender to the two defensemen and our three forwards out there because that's what's going to help win us games. It's not going to be, we've got the offense, we've got to be taking care of our own zone this year. Next Saturday, uh, it counts um, against a good Colgate team coming in here to Matthews Arena. Um, talk about what they bring to the table and uh, a team that you really owe after what happened last year. Yeah, you know, they beat us twice last year at their at their building and, you know, we, we've got Colton Sossman, uh, lost him coming out of there for for uh, you know three or four games. It was a real physical series down there, and they're a very good hot club. They're a well coached team, and and they're a hard team to play against. They're not dirty. They play the game the right way. Uh, their coach is Don Vaughn, who I played against in college, and was a hell of a college player in some real good St. Lawrence teams. So we they like to play fast. They've got some skilled players. They got a real good goaltender, um, you know, and they've got a solid defense that moves pucks out. So it's it's going to be a, a challenge, a tough game for us. And you know, it, these games are going to come down to one goal differential and so we've got to make sure that again we're taking care of our own zone defensively playing smart and if we do that and we get our chances you know I, I like our ability to finish at the net uh, with this group of forwards um, but uh, we know it's going to be a, a tough 60 minute grind next Saturday night.